Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have top stories. We are tracking for you on Monday, the 1st of April. India's ruling BJP questions rival Congress about islands in Sri Lanka. Abduction case of minor girl gains attention in New York, Pakistan. And Bangladesh PM last proposition BNP for India out campaign. And now for all the details, India's half-century-old decision to end a territorial dispute with Sri Lanka over a tiny island has become a hot-button election issue, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi accusing the rival Congress of having carelessly giving away the island called Kacha Thivu and compromising fishermen's rights. Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar on Monday in a press conference said the island and fishing rights was given away due to recurring indifference shown by the past governments and Prime Ministers about the territory of India. Sri Lanka had detained more than 6,000 Indian fishermen and 1,175 fishing vessels over the last 20 years following the deal on the island, he added. Earlier, responding to PM Modi, Congress President Malikarjun Kharge had said the 1974 agreement had been based on a friendly gesture and suggested that Prime Minister's comments came with an eye to general elections set to start on April 19, in which he will seek a rare third term. The island located between India's Rameshwaram and Sri Lanka was traditionally used by both Sri Lankan and Indian fishermen. However, in 1974, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi accepted Kachathivu as Sri Lankan territory under the Indo-Sri Lankan Maritime Agreement. Uh, as I mentioned, in Parliament it has come up as Parliament question. It has come up in debates. It has been raised in the Consultative Committee. And, in fact, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu has written to me numerous times. And my record shows that to the current Chief Minister, I have myself replied 21 times on this issue. So, please understand, this is not an issue which has suddenly surfaced. This is a live issue. It is an issue which has been very much debated uh, in Parliament in the in uh, Tamil Nadu uh, uh, circles as well. And in an exclusive interview with ANI, US Ambassador to India Eric Garcetti acknowledged that New Delhi and Washington are working together in the investigation of Alish foil assassination plot against Khalistani terrorist Gurpatmat Singh Panun. Garcetti said that a red line should not be crossed between the two countries and no government employee of any country can be involved in an assassination plot of a foreign citizen. Referring to the Khalistani marches and the threats issued by Panun, Garcetti said that the American system protects free speech for better or for worse, while adding that an American citizen can be convicted or deported only according to the country's laws. Palun is an India-designated terrorist who holds American and Canadian citizenship. Last year, Panun had threatened that Air India would not allow to operate on November 19. Later, he also threatened an attack on the Indian Parliament on the anniversary of the Parliament attack on December 13. In a big setback, Delhi's Chief Minister and AAP convener Arvind Kejriwal was on Monday sent to jail till April 15 in liquor policy case after his enforcement directorate custody came to an end. The ED had asked for 15 days of judicial custody of Kejriwal, citing his non-cooperative behaviour. Speaking to reporters while entering the court complex, the Delhi CM criticised Prime Minister Narendra Modi, claiming that he is not doing the right thing for the country. Kejriwal has been governing Delhi from jail with his wife Sunita Kejriwal passing his orders to his cabinet colleagues. Meanwhile, the court again refused to entertain a plea seeking to restrain the chief minister from issuing orders while being in custody. A key opposition leader, Kejriwal's arrest come as India begins voting in general elections on April 19. Moving on, the abduction case of Palak Noor, a minor girl from Gilgit, Baltistan, has gained attention with locals holding a series of protests criticizing the establishment for sheer ignorance. A report. 
Scores of locals and activists held a massive protest outside the Gilgit Press Club recently against inaction by authorities in the case of Falak Noor, a minor girl from the occupied region, allegedly abducted and forcibly married. Noor, the daughter of a poor daily wage worker, is claimed to have been abducted since January 20. A social media video also surfaced where she claimed to have married willingly. Later, discrepancies in her age emerged from medical certificate, stating that she was 16. However, Falak's father produced documents attesting to her age as 13. Locals have warned a series of protests until Falak is returned to her parents. बहुत अफसोस से कहना पड़ रहा है गिलगित बल्दिस्तान 75 सालों से बुनियादी इंसानी हुकूक से महरूम है यहां पर फिर कवारियत के जरिए लोगों को लोगों के साथ लड़ाया जा रहा है यहां के जो रिसोर्सेज हैं उनके ऊपर कब्जे करने के बाद आज यहां की बेटियों को मांओं को बहनों को गैर कानूनी तरीके से जबर के जरिए अगवा किया जा रहा है ऐसे हालत में रियासत के ऊपर इंतजामी या यूनिट होने के नाते ये बहुत बड़ा सवाल है अगर ये एक बच्ची को दो महीने में बाजियाब करने में नाकाम है तो फिर हम इनसे क्या तवक्कु रखें हम ये सोचने पर मजबूर होंगे कि हम अपनी दिफा के लिए खुद खड़े हों हम अपनी सिक्योरिटी का बंदबस क्या हम खुद करें अपने कानून क्या हम खुद बनाएं क्या हम खुद निकले कि इस पुलिस को इस फौज को इस हुकाम को हम ना मान के बाहर निकले क्या आप यही चाहते हैं the cases of abduction and forced marriages of minor girls is not new rights defenders blame pakistani courts give offenders green light by acknowledging fraudulent evidence regarding the ages of the victims moving on bangladesh prime minister sheikh hasina has slammed opposition bangladesh nationalist party for propagating india out campaign and boycott of indian products in the country Hasina questioned the double standard of opposition leaders and said, why don't BNP leaders burn their wives' Indian saris? When they burn their wives' Indian saris in front of their party office, only then their commitment will be proven. Hasina was quoted as saying by local media. Retweeting Prime Minister's stance, Foreign Minister Hassan Mahmood also said such campaigns reflect a bad image of the country. India is Bangladesh's biggest trading partner overall, with Dhaka relying heavily on Indian imports for essential goods. However, in the past few months, with re-election of Sheikh Hasina, who has good ties with New Delhi, anti-India campaign has simmered, backed by major opposition party BNP. The campaign mirrors a similar campaign of Maldives, where President Mohammad Muizu came to power capitalizing anti-India sentiments. Moving on. As Christians across Sri Lanka observe Easter Sunday under tight security, Sri Lankan President Ronald Vikramasinghe said that the government has allowed a free and fair investigation in the 2019 Easter Sunday bombings. The Catholic Church in the Buddhist majority country has remained unsatisfied with the investigations in the attacks by a local Islamist extremist group that tore through three Catholic churches and three luxury hotels in 2019, killing more than 270 people. The then government, headed by President Maitri Pala Sirisena, was accused of negligence of free intelligence received on the attacks. Sirisena is a sensational public remark last week, said he was aware of the masterminds. A magistrate court has asked him to appear on April 4 to make a statement over his public comment. Meanwhile, a mass gathering was organized by thousands of Christians in Nepal as they marked Easter Sunday to honor resurrection of Jesus Christ after being crucified. The devotees flogged Bhrikuti Mandap, a common ground in Kathmandu, where they held conventions and exhibitions. Observed as a sign of new beginnings and hope, Easter is celebrated across the world to confess one's sin and ask for forgiveness. Easter is a popular day for the process of baptism and welcoming new members into the Christian's faith. This day also marks the end of the Lent period. According to the National Christian Federation, there are more than 14,000 churches and over 3 million Christians in Nepal. Today, 
आउनु भयो र मर्नु भयो र बाइबलमा लेखिएको जस्तै तेस्रो दिनमा उहाँ चाहिँ बौरी उठ्नु भएको हो र आजको दिन चाहिँ हामी बौरी उठ्नु भएको छ अनि त्यो विश्वास गर्छौँ बाइबलमा लेखिएका कुराहरू हामी विश्वास गर्छौँ अनि उहाँको बौरी उठाएको उपलक्ष्यमा हामी विभिन्न कार्यक्रम गर्दै उहाँको महिमा प्रशंसा र प्रभु ईश्वरको बारेमा यसो चाहिँ को हुनुहुन्छ किन आउनुभयो र केका लागि आउनुभयो भन्ने विषयमा हामी मानिसहरूलाई सुसन्देशको रूपमा बताउने गर्छौँ In India, Christians performed prayer meetings across all major cities. Priests read out verses from holy scriptures, while worshippers lit candles to commemorate the auspicious day. Easter festival begins on Good Friday and culminates when Christians believe Jesus rose from the dead three days after being crucified. We celebrate the Easter by donating things to the poor and by celebrating the masses in the church and by cleaning our heart by confessing our sins that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow tag tv brings you daily news bulletin from india breaking news and views from india